Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Milwaukee Brewers. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, David Sharp. We know he's one of the best in the game, doesn't make many mistakes, and if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. All right, ready to go here. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Whoa. Westberg. And that one a little below the knees. Ball one. Let's go, double play time. Oh, big guy. Right through there for a strike. Mullins gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out without a swing. Ball strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Here's Adley Rutschman. And this is inside. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. you got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. In the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Man, at first one away. Got it by him, for the play. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to no, have a better chance down. of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Oh. Next pitch is outside. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. No. Next pitch misses. Three and one. Ryan Mountcastle to bat next. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in game four. So now two on and two outs. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch That's wasn't even much to think about. The first base is Here's two. Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. In there at the knees. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Sharp. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situation. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that. Two outs, nobody on. Now here's the switch inning power threat, David Sharp. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Ball and that one. one is inside ball one. That Good misses. Shot. Two balls and a strike. Hard on the ground at first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. End of one, and we're still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second, and into the box for Baltimore, Matt McClain. McClain. That one's in there. Strike one. Nothing like postseason baseball. There's a buzz in the air. Every pitch seems bigger. It's truly special. That one finds the zone. And the count is one and two. There really is a different feel to the postseason. I only got five games of postseason action in my playing career, but I treasured each of them. And the pitch. Just misses with that one. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Austin Hayes, batting with one down, takes a strike. 
Hayes, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2016. Smoked on the ground a second. Toss to Naylor, two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Jeff Goff digs in now. Yeah, Goff. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Pass up with it to first. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. So they go quietly there. Back here in Milwaukee, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the designated hitter for the oh. Orioles, Tommy Pham. Oh, no. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Come on and miss, struck him out. One gone here. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. And that's outside. Two and oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a bunt towards third. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. One ball. Balls one to first. Westberg takes ball. a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next Three. offering is in for a strike. Top of the third, no score. And a miss struck him out. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Now, Adley Rutschman, runner on the goal. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do The fourth game of the World Series. Now it's the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Hard hit left side. Toss to Naylor. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Mount Castle at the plate now. That's ball one. All tied up here in game four of the World Series. In there at the knees for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Kicks and deals. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Two down, nobody on. And that one's a little bit low. And the count is 2-0. And, oh. and another ball. And there's the automatic. And that's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if now we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, hmm. I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. And that is that.
One left for the Orioles. Still no score. The batter, the designated hitter, David. Warning track, wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast, and that gives him a lead. It's one nothing. It's really impressive how he's able to. New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, Jeff Goff. Swing and a foul straight back, Goff. Measures six feet even, 22 years old. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. Here comes a pinch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the pitch. Popped up. Haas makes the catch. One down. No, well, that's no. what he's looking for with the, the fastball above the zone. A Tommy. swing and miss or weak Man. contact. Here's Tommy Pham. His first at bat was a strikeout. That's, that's off the, the mark, and it's one to no. Time's starting to run out for this offense, isn't it, Boog? I mean, it's not easy to play in a must-win oh, game, no, especially when you're losing. Their season is on the line, and they know it. One down, base is empty. Little chopper rolls foul. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. The Brewers leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Good Yo. eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he oh, hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. And yeah, the batter now, Cedric Mullins. Two outs. Not even close there. One ball, one strike. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. That one fouled off. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And they'll do it again. The 2-2. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Ground ball, oh. left side, and that's just foul. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Up next to Gloria. Now the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. And there's the strike. Man at second. Fought off foul.
And that one lifted in the air center field. Brings it in. And that's the third out. And the Orioles leave one. They trail here. Back here at American Family Field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. He'll one. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent. Ooh. Swings, threw it, and that's a strikeout. So now it's the four hole hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. One chase that time. The Brewers up by a run, and we're the top half of the six. Yep. And it's even up. So why this slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. One down, base is empty. On the ground. No play, that's an infield single. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Just missed. Henderson leads off first with one away. In the air to left center, Yelich on the move. Yelich snags it on the run. Throw is high and over his head. Matt McClain getting ready to hit. He's 0 for 1. There's a swing and a drive. That ball's carrying. And that one's off the wall. Headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. And he's there at third with a triple. Well, that started and ended pretty They hand the ball over to a new arm. In the air, right field, got under it, and makes the play, and that's out number three. David Sharp, up now down for the Brewers. He's already homered in this David. game. Yeah, there's a ball. Bounce to third. Finds its way through base hit. And now the winning run is on base. show as you get one more look at this incredible walk-off finish.